Hey guys, this is Swati and today I'm going to share with you my box braid experience okay. called a protective hairstyle because uh, that keeps the hair from tangling and uh, I really really like it. People thought I am like I'm half African, half Indian or they thought like I'm African. So it was a really nice experience. So I got it done from Filu. Uh, I, I stay in Bangalore. Thanks to Namita, I actually got her number. She is an African woman who does hair. She told me to get my own hair and she already had it. So I didn't bought it. Uh, but if you want like an, a particular style or particular color, it's good to buy your own uh, hair. So if you're wondering why I'm asking about hair. So should I, have this short hair I do not have this long hair these are extensions so if you can see properly you will be able to see like uh, my hair is actually braided the extensions are actually connected so they are braided together it's how your hair gets really really long so it's not, like I have seen a lot of people actually staring at my hairstyle because they think it's it's a real hair and they wonder like uh, oh, this is not real hair uh, people actually think it's real hair and they will just you know stare how long you want the hair I actually uh, so I have this long hair uh, yeah. I didn't want it like for the first time I didn't want it very very long and very heavy so I actually used uh, around four four packets of hair and I do not have, uh, I have an undercut so I do not have hair like in the back so that's why it was like 4 uh, packets uh, if you want like really really heavy and long uh, you know look you have to uh, get around 10 to 12 uh, packets depending on what kind of hairstyle you're going for so that's like a great thing if you buy your own packets and uh, it actually costed me so the hair was around 350 per packet and uh, the uh, charges for doing this was around uh, thousand of these kind of hair when I was like a kid and if you remember like 90s um, I used to like do this and then I would put beads if you remember those colorful beads so that uh, I really wanted to get that. So I knew that it's, it does take a lot of time as Namita told. Yeah, so you have to be very, very patient with this. We got uh, the basic one done, like the black one. But if you if you want like colored or any like different colors, and then you can buy the extension and they will do it for you. Uh, as, uh, how painful it was. So I am not going to be I'm not gonna lie, but it does uh, hurt a little bit, not too much, but it depends on like how the person is doing the braids as well. So if, uh, just make sure it's not too t tight that your, uh, like basically your uh, you know, hair is pulling from here. So you have to keep uh, that in mind as well. Really didn't I didn't feel that much of pain like uh, waxing is more painful than getting this I think <laughs> under uh, my this area uh, so uh, it was nice to even sleep in the night it was not really painful for me it's good to have a reference picture so this is the medium uh, thickness of the braid have to see that how long you want uh, and how thick you want so the more thick and the more long it we get uh, the more extension we have to buy generally what they do for the ends uh, is they uh, you can actually burn it and seal it because it's synthetic so you are done with your uh, braids what you can do is you can come back home and uh, put your hair like not your real hair I'm talking about synthetic one so if you have like real hair you don't have to do this because they are they are gonna be quite smooth but synthetic hair they get quite stiff so what you can do is basically you can pour in the hot hot water and keep it for a few seconds and take it out uh, dry it with the towel it will be more smooth and it won't be like too you know stark like too old uh, 
uh, a month i wore my braids so i you can wear it for two months or one month depending on your choice your aunties asked me at the same time how do you wash your hair and the answer is you can actually wash your hair you just have to massage it in your scalp and you can actually pull this off uh, synthetic hair doesn't keep water for long so it doesn't it takes little more time than the normal hair but it gets dried really i i i would say fairly amount like it, it's not like it's you cannot wash your hair so that is great uh, you can wash your hair you need to massage your scalp and uh, rinse it with uh, water like how you know you do you do not open the hair and so yeah that should be quite obvious i know we uh, come from a different culture and we actually don't understand it uh, by doing this i actually understood first of all how painful it it is for people who have like really curly hair they have to go through this uh, it's a protective hair style uh, that's why they do it and uh, it's very low maintenance also like you don't have to spend around like uh, every day on your hair because it's quite low maintenance and look really really nice so i don't do my hair at all like it's been a month and i haven't done anything to my hair so it's really quick and easy and looks all always it looks really nice and if you have like short hair and you want like long hair this is a nice way to like nice hair style to for washing my hair because i put a little bit of oil in the roots it gets moisture and everything i won't lie it gets a little uh, scratchy uh, you feel like you're scratching your forehead so that is something i am learning not to do it really really loved it you should also try it if you like this video you can give a thumbs up and subscribe uh, you can see the red button just click on that and so i am going to uninstall my braids uh, today because it's been a month and let's see how much time it takes to